so cool. Sometimes you get so uh, settled in doing the thing that you forget to stop and realize what you've done so far. I'm just so incredibly grateful to AFTA um, for recognizing me and, and, and to be amongst these amazing honorees. It's just absolutely insane. Um, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of the Broadway community uh, this season. I was a kid uh, when, I, when I first moved here in 2014 to go to school. I used to still do my plays, but I was doing classrooms, I was doing the rec centers, I was doing all over, and I would pass out flyers outside of Broadway theaters to try to get people to come see my show. They didn't give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> but it still, it still was, it was a method of, of, of making sure that people got to hear the story. That's really all it's about, is making sure people hear the story. Now I'm glad that over a thousand people hear the story eight times a week uh, and see me tell it. So that's really cool. Um, I also just wanted to uh, remind myself, even in this moment, uh, of why I do this, right? Why, why I do the work. And I wrote down some few words uh, over the past few years I was writing, trying to write a manifesto for myself of, of why. Remembering the why, no matter who you are, no matter, no matter what comes, remembering the why. And I wrote down, uh, because I would love to share that manifesto with y'all, um, of why I work. Um, I want the person in the back of the line to have their presence and importance felt in the front of the line. I want to shout from a mountaintop that thing that granny wouldn't let me say. I want the wounds inside of me to know that the person who made it is human too. I want my niece to know that too much God lives in her midnight skin not to praise it. I want to never be too financially comfortable that I become comfortable with not saying the uncomfortable. I want my uncomfortable to be my uncomfortable and not one that's just a selling point to get rich white people in seats who get off of being uncomfortable. I want to remain a soldier in the army of the Lord. I want to remain a soldier in the army of blackness. I want to remain a soldier in the army of nuck if you buck, never too much. Okay. <laughs> who's played at the family cookout. I want to remain a soldier to the boy who thought the Lord hated his want to love another boy who thought the Lord hated him. I want to remain a soldier in the army of not giving one ounce of a damn. I want to let the theater be the church it is meant to be. I want to let the theater know that they can shout when they want to shout. I want to let the theater know that black women make the air we breathe in. I want to let the theater know that white people ain't gotta be in everything. <laughs> I want to let the theater know that my great, 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 great uncle who was lynched by the Klan is also in the house tonight to have a good time. I want to let the theater know that it's okay to shake your ass and watch yourself. I want to let the theater know that chitlins can be served on fine china. I want my soul to know that me and God still have a lot of work to do. I want my soul to know that it's okay to cry sometimes and that my characters will cry for me when I run out of tears. I want my soul to know that God is also in the struggle. I want my soul to know that it has permission to move to the front of the line. Mm -hmm. yeah.